us. All right, bro, 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 bro. We're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing. What is up? What is up? What a good. We got my boy Johnny Walker in the building. You already know who he is. Johnny hey. Walker, we're just going to go straight into it because you've been on the podcast before. You know how this works. I've been here, yeah. Tell me something that you have never told anybody else. Oh, something that I've never told anyone else. Um, so I'm actually into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai. And back when I was in ninth grade, I actually threw a fight club in my basement. Word. Yeah. How did that go? <laughs> so listen, let's talk a little bit about stories. So at that point, uh, we were young. And like I said, we're into jiu-jitsu. We're training. We're into Muay Thai, uh, WWE, whatever it is. So what happened was these two, these two boys that I had, uh, one was Rob and one was Adam, they actually had like a small beef, right? So we were like, hold up. Us being the, the moguls, the, e the CEOs, right, at a young age, we were like, let's get some contracts written up and let's throw this thing. And let's like... Let's hire people to work there. Let's freaking sell tickets and let's sell cookies, right? So, so day of the event, we show up. We actually have at least 40, 50 people come into a fight club in my basement. And it's like we sold White Castle burgers. We sold cookies. We had it oh. caution taped off. It was, it was pretty dope. Um, although, like, my, my basement was super dusty, so it was, like, asbestos or something. You know? Damn, that's mad fire. It was, it was, You've it been was an dope. entrepreneur from a young age. That's the thing, and I think that's kind of where it comes from, where I try to tell artists, like, everyone that I'm talking to lately, because I've been doing this for a long time, since I was 14, and I had time to hone in on the artistry, but also at the same time, I've always been so interested in the business aspect of it, right? Because, you know, as an artist, we are a business, and, you know, without art and business you can't be a music business right then you're just making music and if you really want to do this as your career and what you want to do you have to also tap into that business mindset and really get your shit figured out damn this man's dropping gems on a podcast right now <laughs> dude I, I honestly wish i could just do it for fun i'm trying to i'm definitely learning more of the business side of yep. things too man because trust me i would love to be here for free every single show yeah figuring it out but it's just not possible i got got bills to pay at the end of the day that's huh? the truth and that's why another thing like i just want to drop some gems because i feel like like i said you know i've been doing this for a while and i feel like there's a lot of things to figure out when you are trying to be a music artist part of it is like you do need that money to invest so like however you get that let's say you build your own business on the side or let's say you you know work a nine to five whatever it is you have to find a way to balance getting that investment uh capital right and let's say it's you make three thousand dollars from your job you set aside 500 to make the track get the promotion promotion is so important but on top of that get it mixed get it mastered whatever you can do when you start just like pushing it forward yeah dude but yeah well, i mean what's 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 your day job brother no 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 no. i got another question for you don't even try to fucking <laughs> switch this up i mean you fuck <laughs> listen i got questions for you bro go i ahead. just had an awkward pause there for a second oh, oh, right? that's fine that's fine go yeah, ahead go ahead. go ahead come on what are you grateful for in this life bro mm. that's and that's a beautiful question because I feel like you can have a lot of ups and downs about like times when you struggle with what you are grateful for. But in the end of the day, when you like kind of flip it, because I feel like lately this 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 month I've been kind of low, kind of down. Um, people were telling me Mercury's, Mercury's in retrograde or whatever that is. And I was like, I don't know what that means, but you know, I've been feeling down. And then when you actually take a second to step back, I realize I'm grateful for the people in my life. I'm grateful for the opportunities. I'm grateful for the talent that maybe I was, you know, given from a uh, higher power, whatever it is, I don't know what you believe in, but it's like, I feel like when I make music, it's coming from a higher place than just myself, you know, bigger than myself. And, you know, those are some of the things I'm grateful for. Like I said, family, friends, opportunities, uh, the people in my life, and just having the opportunity to, you know, keep growing, keep growing. I got one more thing for you, dude. Um, I think you're an incredible person. I want you, you to keep doing your thing, dude. It's not really a question. It's kind of just like me talking to you. Um, keep doing your thing, bro. I can't wait to do more future work with you, dude. Absolutely. I feel like you got something special about yourself. Thank you. I can't you. really can't really put my finger on it yet. But you seeing what you and Lance do and seeing like, you know, like the passion you guys have, like it really inspires me to keep doing what I do as well, dude. I mean, thank uh, you. I pre and speaking of Lance, you know, shout out to him because Lance Prince has actually helped me kind of um, you know, do a lot of those like things that are like hard to do, me being visually impaired, where it's like setting up the Shopify store. We actually just got some merch, the winner's circle. Uh, hats as well and you know we just built a website so we're really super excited about that can't wait to show the people the merch that we're dropping soon Yo, bro. well dude i appreciate you so much please let the people know where they can find you and so it is johnny walker you can find me drunk on johnny walker on soundcloud ig tiktok wherever you go also got a super big song out rsvp um find that on spotify apple music johnny walker rsvp type it in um yeah a lot of music out and uh, yeah, i appreciate it. grateful for you too brother appreciate you bro thank Thanks you so much